Welcome to MS Update, the channel for all things motocross. From the latest news to exclusive content, we've got you covered. Whether you're a seasoned rider or a fan of the sport, we'll bring you the stories that matter most. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. Detroit, Michigan brings us the next round of Monster Energy Supercross. A short drive north from Indy, we should see a similar type event with cold Midwest conditions outside and a softer racetrack inside. Still, I don't expect to see the same level of softness in Detroit as Indy, as history has shown we don't often get the same conditions. I'm not sure if that's simply the dirt composition or how it's stored but Detroit has been harder and drier than rounds like Indy or St. Louis doesn't always make sense given the geography and weather but I suppose it doesn't have to make sense. It's just the way it is, and last year's race was actually dry and slick in spots. As for the track, it's a hybrid of several prior rounds. The start is cut down the middle of Ford Field and bends into a left hand 180. A rhythm section is immediately there to meet riders so watch for close calls as riders try to maneuver in traffic. On a normal lap, there are two trains of thought here. Riders can opt for the step-on-step -step off route, then triple single into the next bowl berm. The second option would be to jump over the tabletop to the downside, then triple from the next three-foot takeoff and land on the backside of the next five-footer. They would then double into the corner. The upside of this line is that the triple is often the quickest way through a rhythm section as it allows you stay low but need to carry lots of speed. Riders always want to jump off the three-footers and avoid the five-footers if possible, to cut back on hang time. In this section, though, the downside is that riders may have to slow down to jump over the initial tabletop, especially if it's possible to quad the first four jumps. Watch for riders to figure out which is quicker and then make that the every lap line. The next rhythm section is alongside the stadium wall and should be a 3-3-3-2 rhythm. The toughest part will be getting the three, from the corner but once the momentum is going, it's simply a matter of navigating ruts and getting the timing right. A short step on step off is next, along the width of the stadium. This is exactly like the setup we saw last week in Indy. Upon landing, a 90, degree right hand corner leads to a flat dragon's back, very similar to how Arlington's setup exiting the tunnel. A short shoot goes backwards down the start straight and into a 180 left. The finish line jump is next and riders have a tough choice here. The safer, shorter line is to use the flat inside but it will also be difficult to carry momentum through that. Going to the outside berm will be faster but opens the door to block passing or worse. Situational awareness will be critical here as riders need to gauge the distance they have to a following rider. The finish line jump leads to a single and a netted 180 right. The next section spans the length of the stadium and features the standard small double lead-in to a whoops section. Detroit whoops can vary from big blitzers to ruddy jumpers. It will depend on the firmness of the dirt and the angle of the build. Further, the gap in transition in between each whoop can play a big role. The smoother the transition, the easier it is to jump in and out of these. The harsher the angle and tighter the transition, the more difficult it becomes to get both wheels into the sweet spot for jumping. A 90 right leads to a similar section as Anaheim 2, zigzagging sideways across the start straight. These short shoots don't often lead to passing but can give riders a chance to breathe and refocus. If passing is on the menu, look for aggressive moves to make it work. A flat 90 right leads to a few small bumps and then a big double that spans the first corner. Upon landing, riders make a hard left 180 and double back onto the first rhythm lane. 